Muhammad Umar Farooq biological video please make sure to subscribe like and share ask the question for answer and comment about the artwork you can also comment to each other for solve the problem so today we will talk about the agaricus that is the mushroom which are present in the organic matter that is a decomposer uh, it is decomposer and a chlorophyllous uh, basically that is related to the if animal insect and the uh, it's not a plant because it's not chlorophyll it has not chlorophyll so today we will discuss about this uh, mushroom which is edible for the human being and this edible mushroom is that uh, basically contain different part here is the mycelium that's mycelium contain uh, multi uh, binucleated or uninucleated and here is the substratum and that's a type which that is attached the peleus uh, and gills so here is the gills you can see and that is the annulus which that is surrounded down of the cap so upper part is known as cap and that is type which that is the stem like structure but it's contain a cell wall is made up of chitin instead of cellulose which that are present in the plant so chitin is the character of insect uh, epidermis so it's also related to the an animal basically so here's the inner vellum that is the basically and here the peleus cap will be produced and that's a pseudo parenchymatous tissue which that is surrounded uh, is known as cap which is a pseudo parenchymatous tissue i will discuss uh, in later so here is the gills lamella and that is here is the annulus or ring which that uh, we uh, see in the previous image and that is the basically uh, mycelium connection so the mycelium connection are present is like that which that is used for the absorption of nutrition from the decomposers uh, decomposing material which the dead or organic material uh, organic base material so here is the two type of mycelia which that first produce monokaryotic primary mycelium is known as here is the made up of hyphae and the second is the dikaryotic uh, secondary which that is the mycelium uh, uh, basically fungus body it's a mycelium is a um, vegetative structure of the body it can it can be detached to reproduce again but on the other hand sexual reproduction is also as well known about this um, about this uh, species so next and uh, now we will discuss about the classification so here is the kingdom divisions subdivisions so kingdom is a fungi uh, or fungi and division is amstigomycotina subdivision is basidiomycotina and class holo basidiomycete and order is the agaricals family agaricaceae agaricaceae and genus is agaricus species agaricus compestis and medo mushroom is also known as and agaricus compestris agaricus bisporus is the type of species so here is the classification next we will discuss about the life cycle of the agaricus so first of all the growth of the development of um, basidiocarp which that is meaning of basidiomycota so it means uh, related to the subdivision basidiomycota now we will discuss about the basidium how to grow the basically basidium and basidiocarp so the basidiocarp is the fruiting body which produce the basidium so remember about that things basidium is another term and basidiocarp is the another term basidiocarp means the basidium producing body which they produce different uh, many basidium so here is the development of basidiocarp which that contain a gills uh, or lamella and lamella chamber first of all and the peleus is lamellar chamber will be produced so here is the peleus 
uh, are pilus so that's a term is interconnected if you can speak uh, another so it's okay bar spell it should be correct correct so here is the lamella which that is the basically is a sparse type which that is connect by the gills or lamella so or cap so here is the structure of lamella so now we will discuss about the lamellar structure so the lamellar structure explain the basidium so remember about that things basidiocarp which that is the fruiting body and here is the basidium which that is spore producing body basidio spore producing body so here is the uh, paraphysis uh, and you can say the hymenium so here is the hymenium layer and here is the sub hymenium layer and the downside is the trauma so remember and basidium is the basically mm, a basidium is the basidio spore producing paraphysis so remember about this thing and that's attached by the basidio spores by the paraphysis we are a steri sterigma sterigma so that's all thing is related to the spore producing if we will talk about the vegetative reproduction then mycelium will detached from the parental body and that's again will be reproduced in the whole plant or whole body so here is the development of basidium and basidiospore so we will discuss about his like that the basidium will be haploid and there's the haploid basidium will become a diploid zygote so this diploid zygote will be produced and this diploid zygote will again uh, produce steric ma steric matter and that's the haploid nucleus will be produced for that's a tetrad of the uh, zygote to become a haploid so this will be basidium uh, lead to move upward uh, by the steric matter and there's a uh, basidial spores and these basidial spores will release from the maturation of basidium uh, during the maturation of the basidium so this is used these spores is used for the uh, reproduction the cyclic activity of reproduction that is known as also sexual reproduction because two spores combine together to give a new structure and these uh, combination to produce again agaricus a whole body which that we will discuss about here here is the two spores negative and positive a negative and a positive which produce mycelium which separately not um, interconnect basically separately but closer to each other so these primary mycelium will grow to become a secondary mycelium by the attachment to each other and they share the uh, share the genetic material to each other is uh, basically like a synapse or like a uh, copulation or something which that is a conjugation so this conjugation which interrelate to each other to produce a, a new mycelium that's new mycelium produce hyphal nodes and these hyphal nodes and uh, substratum which does grow and uh, produce a button stage so this button stage will lead to produce a pileus and gills chamber this type also will be produced so let's see we will discuss here that is the structure which that looking like a before which that we had seen so that's a gill are present and here is the pileus and stipe so gill chamber is used to become a lamella and this lamella again produce a basidio spore from the basidium and this the tissue is known as hymenium sub hymenium and trauma so here is the pileus and uh, this go and gills chamber and this will lead to produce a whole body 
uh, high full strands are present and that's a whole body will be produced and this whole body will be uh, detached from the substratum when will be die and this death will lead to produce again basidiospores from the basidium and you should remember about that here is the annulus and that's annulus maturation that will lead to produce a uh, basidium and this basidium will lead to produce basidiospores and these basidiospores again will be produced and this cycle will continue and that's a reproduction reproductive cycle is known as sexual reproductive cycle if we will talk about the asexual reproduction that means asexual reproduction mean basidiospore will be real uh, produce asexually to produce primary mycelium and secondary mycelium we will produce uh, uh, by the combination of 1 and 1 and to produce 2 n so another is the vegetative reproduction is the detachment of the mycelium from the parental body and uh, that is done by the vegetative reproduction so that's all thing is uh, uh, related to the agaricus so we had this uh, we had uh, come from here and that's here is the basically uh, uh, basidiospore will lead to produce and that's negative and positive basidiospore produced to primary and secondary mycelium by the combination so thanks for watching please subscribe the channel